Hey, so my name is Andrew. I work at uh, the Barbarian Group, and I run an open source project called Cinder. Uh, so Cinder is a platform for creative coding, and by open source, we mean that, that the source code, the recipe for Cinder itself, is freely available. You can do anything you want with it, commercial work. Uh, you can compete with the Barbarian Group using Cinder, and in fact, people do. Uh, and as by creative coding, I really just mean uh, writing custom software in service of creative projects. Um, a typical creative coding project will have a number of different layers to it. Uh, you're going to, of course, have art that's come from designers, um, real-time input like a Kinect, a number of different things all come together through Cinder. It speaks each of these layers' native languages uh, and then is able to tie them together uh, in, a, in a seamless creative project. Uh, there's a bunch of different companies, there's a bunch of different kinds of companies using Cinder. So everything from big agencies like Wyden and Kennedy, uh, effects companies like The Mill, Industrial Light Magic, Pentagram, uh, and then we're seeing a lot of, of traditional technology companies, Intel, Google, Microsoft is a good example of a phenomenon we're seeing more and more of, where they actually contributed about $50,000 worth of development to Cinder itself and made sure it runs well on their new Surface tablets, Leap did that with their motion input device as well. Um, Cinder's beginning is, is proud. Uh, the Richardson High School Computer Club, which I was the president of, uh, clearly an organization you joined to meet women. Uh, and, and actually, even today, some of Cinder's code dates back to that era. At Barbarian, we used it before as open source for projects like uh, the music visualizer that's in iTunes we did for Apple, Esquire augmented reality issue. We open sourced it in April of 2010, and then now my full-time job is just maintaining this larger open source sort of project. Uh, in the spirit of open source, rather than just talk about how freaking smooth Barbarian Group is, uh, we're going to show work made by companies that are not Barbarian. Uh, so this first one is from a company called Murata. This was installed at the Lincoln Center real-time New York City data visualization project on a 110-foot screen. Uh, we have um, a company called The Locals, Australian company, built this interactive storefront um, for the Sydney Nike store. Uh, it's sort of the store stays open even when it's closed, in a sense. Uh, we have uh, Breakfast, who's been on stage earlier, uh, built this interactive electromagnetic dot display. It's a really beautiful result um, using Cinder for the software layer. Uh, this is a music exploration app called Planetary. This actually just became the Smithsonian's first code-based design acquisition. So in a sense, uh, the Smithsonian uh, houses, they have like a printout of the Cinder source code somewhere, which is strange. Uh, Charity Water built this real-time bidding system uh, using RFID with Cinder uh, that was also here in New York. Uh, the Mill built their multi-touch portfolio uh, called the Mill, Mill Touch and that's installed in their lobby. Uh, Radical Media did this project for Nike. This was installed at South by this huge screen uh, in promotion of a Nike product. Razorfish SFO Terminal 3. I can see I'm over time. I'm going to get played off. You can play the MIT Media Lab off if you must. Uh, human computer interaction research done with Cinder. Good chance you're already using Cinder. If you're not, check it out. Uh, thank you all. <laughs>